Hey guys, it's Madeline Clyde, and I am going to be doing my skincare routine and a little judged everyday look with a, a winged eye and maybe um, a peachy lip. Let's do it. This is my ride or die face wash. I've been using it since I was 13. I saw this on TikTok and if I, I can't remember who did the video, but she used a brush to wash her face. It's changed my life, so let's get started. I might use like maybe an inordinate amount. <laughs> That's okay. You go in and you like kind of mix it up, make it foamy. Take your hands, like whatever is left on your hands, and just like press into your face. It just like makes me feel like it's actually like getting my pores. I have noticed a difference in like the amount of like like blackheads that I've been getting. Always pat your face dry if you like retains moisture. Lotion P50 1970. I just like put like a little bit on my palm. Skinceutical CE for Lick Serum. Anything you put on after it, your skin's gonna absorb better. I use this Phyto A Brightening Treatment, also by SkinCeuticals. After using that benzoyl peroxide, it does dry my face out quite a bit. I always carry around like some sort of moisturizer because I hate the feeling of dry skin. I also like feeling dewy. Some people would say I look sweaty. It's just healthy skin, babe. Holy grail of moisturizers. My favorite, it's Barbara Stern. Face cream. Sunscreen, always. SPF 50, SPF 30 minimum. I used to not wear sunscreen a lot and my mom always scolded me for it. Now after shooting out her banks, I have noticed did a bit of sun damage. Now I've become really, really adamant about wearing it. And for the show, we use foundation with sunscreen built in, but it's just so hard because, you know, we're running, we're sweating, we're in the water. Eye serum. This one's by Clarence. It's called the double serum. If you look closely, there's one little thing in here and then there's another thing in here. I do use strong products and it's because my skin has become accustomed to it. The Kiss You Lip Mask. Before I start my makeup, my perfume, Baccarat Rouge. Something I learned is if you spray like the back of your neck lightly, then that's what people smell when you're walking away from them. You know how everybody says Rihanna smells so good? I would love to be remembered the same. First step is NARS. This is their light reflecting foundation, but I really like it because it feels like I get coverage, but it still feels like my skin looks like skin. So shake well. Maybe that's definitely not the right shade. When in doubt, blend it out. Have I been wrong this whole time? <laughs> Oh my God, this is like the absolute wrong time for this to be happening. Not for Vogue. I'm gonna have like a stern conversation with some of my friends because nobody said anything. Foundation is not foundationing. Just, just put it on your neck. We have sufficiently blended her. For a second it was giving Oompa Loompa. Now it's giving matching. I think I'm gonna do concealer now. And this concealer is pretty light. I don't do my own makeup for press. I almost kind of need the accountability of, of um, someone showing up to my door because otherwise I'm gonna snooze all my alarms. I love my makeup artist. We just kind of make it like super fun. Like we'll get coffee. We have like your know, little morning chat. And then if it's like a night event, we'll do lemon drops. That's the highlight of the night. It's like a girl's night and I love it. Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I have used this since I was like 18. This guy, and I do this guy. I have always thought of like skincare and like even doing like a, you know, face makeup. Like I've always found it to be like a form of self-care. And I know I'm doing something nice for myself. I know 
that I'm gonna thank myself when I get older for it. I know when I was younger, I would look at girls with like beautiful skin and I just remember thinking, oh, I'm so jealous, like I wish my skin was like that. I like to button my nose. I see girls do this all the time on TikTok and I think it's so cute. I'm using the same Kat Von D palette and I'm using the same colors. Take one of these light powders. Is that baking? I'm, I'm baking! So next step is blush. I like to use this one, it's called Shelly by Benefit and it's really cute, like it's got a little shell on it. These are incredibly tempted. Like, so use sparingly. I used to hate my eyes. People call me bug eyes. And now I really, really appreciate them, like after like growing into them. I really love the shape. Thanks, Grandpa. Confidence is something like that, you know, it, it comes and goes. I was just watching Haley Richardson's Vogue Beauty Secrets. Her advice, if you're feeling insecure, say three things that you love about yourself. And it's so funny because my mom used to make me do the same thing. It's not always easy, but it's so true. It's a form of self-care, being kind to yourself. Haley, I love your eyebrows too. Next step is eyebrows. My favorite, holy grail. I don't do anything to my brows. Like, I just prefer to keep them the way they are and then shape them when I do my makeup. One time, I shaved from here to here, like, because one of my friends offered to give me a Visa card and it was gonna pay for, like, my hair appointment the next day. I didn't realize how slowly eyebrows go back. Another reason why I don't really touch my eyebrows is because this one never quite grew back the same. But, Free hair appointment, you know what I mean? Like, hair's expensive. Waterline eyeliner, I use the Urban Decay 24-7. It just makes my lashes look longer and fuller and darker even before we go in with um, mascara. A really exciting thing happened to me last summer. I got cast in a movie called Glass Onion, which is a Knives Out mystery. I just can't really use it has been over a year since we were filming. Um, it's the most insane experience of my life. I grew up watching all of those actors um, and admiring them and wanting to be like them. And so the, like, the ability to work with them, I just try to be a sponge. Catherine might be the funniest human on this planet. This is the benefit they're real. Um, Precision liner. I saw this thing where you like follow the line of your like bottom uh, eyelid. Oh boy. We did it. I'm very happy about it. A little product called Freck XL. I have little freckles that get covered up with makeup and I just like to go in and bring them back out. Mascara. I really like this. This is Armani. This is where that liner underneath on the waterline, you can really tell what a difference that makes. We're gonna do a peachy lip. I love these Hermes lip oils. They're so nice and they keep your lips moisturized. I think I'm gonna mix these two, but before I do that, I kind of contour my lips. I'm gonna start with orange and we'll see how we like it. I like that. I think that's pretty. I'm gonna do a little bit of the pink though. Those are my beauty secrets. I hope you were sufficiently entertained. Love you.